Hello, everybody, and welcome again to Propel's Virtual Garage. I'm your host, Russ Thetonia. Today, we'll be doing another service library video. We'll be doing the how to change the wheel bracket on an Endeavor. Um, within this video, I'm also going to do a sub-tutorial video of how to install the light bracket that comes with the kit that you can buy on the website. If all you need to see is the kit and how to install the light bracket, fast forward to the time on the screen. Otherwise, you can watch right through. Okay, let's get right into it. We're going to need a couple tools. I'll just go over our tool list real quick. We need the standard 17 millimeter for taking the tire off. We need a 10 millimeter on an extension on a quarter inch drive. Um, an important note about this is that you, it has to be the short one. You can't use the long one. I've tried, um, I'm going to say close to eight or nine now, and I have three that work, <clears throat> two better than others. Um, I have found one online that can be bought for $2 and change on Amazon. I'll add that link in the comments as well. But 10 millimeter. You will need three Allen wrenches, two fives and a four. A soft hammer can come in handy. And of course, our Loctite and our parts dish. Okay, let's get this wheel off and get to it. Okay, so to remove the lug nut, we'll use our 17 millimeter. Remove the lug nut and put it in your parts tray and the wheel's off. Okay, so now that we have the wheel off, what we're basically doing is we're taking these two bolts off. Okay, there's something special in this one that I want to show you. And there's also something about <coughs> this bolt here, very common in Eastgate. It's called a barrel bolt. Just the, oops, just the style of it. Um, what happens with barrel bolts, bolts is this runs inside this, this space in there. And the tolerances are tight because that's how you want it with your Eastgate. So I'm going to show you a little trick I do when I'm removing these types of bolts. Okay, so let's start with that one first. And for that one, we're going to use the two five millimeter hex heads. Okay. These are normally quite tight because they have Loctite on them. This is my third take. So the, the Loctite has already been cracked and these are actually kind of loose. Just want to throw that in there. That's why these came off so easy. But yeah, so take these off. <clears throat> but first what I do is I just loosen it. Stop pulling the nut out of the barrel and then just give it a tap. Okay. And that just breaks that seal that's going on in there. And then you can just back it all the way out. And before you take the screw all the way off, the nut on the right, you just give it a little push so the barrel is sticking out the other end here. Okay, it's about to come off now, so I give it a push. Grab that barrel and you can pull it right out. Okay, put those in your parts dish. And this is where that tricky 10 millimeter comes in. As you can see here in this picture, it's tight. It's going right in here. And that's why you need the thin barrel. Okay, so let's get that off. That's your four millimeter and the 10 millimeter, four millimeter Allen. Again, these were taken off already, so that's why they're loose. Okay, there's my nut. There's my bolt on the parts dish. Now this is the important part right here. There's a little washer in between there. See it? See that little washer? Okay. Pay attention to that. Keep it in your parts dish. And that's it. Basically, you're free. To get it out, just take your rubber hammer. Just give it a little tap. It's just kind of set in there a little bit. Okay. And you would get the new one that you're replacing it with. And you'd come right back over and fit it right in there. Just like that. Okay. And uh, actually, you know what? Let me get this bottom bolt in real quick, just so we're stabilized. Another thing I like to do is just stick the Allen head through and give it a wiggle, and it kind of lines up the holes a little bit. Okay, put that in, just get it going for a second. Okay, this is a good time to show you how to put the light kit on. So that's what I'm gonna do. Give me one second, go grab a plate. Okay, so this is the light kit plate. It's got the two nuts 
And what we're going to do before we install this is we're going to take this piece off. Okay. And to do that, it is, I believe a six. Yes, it's a six millimeter wrench. This one's already loose. I had to hold this with pliers to take this off, but this one's already loose. So you just take that off with the six millimeter and unscrew that. Okay, and that frees up that. I'll put those aside in our parts dish. Now we go back to the two little bolts that were in there. Uh, and this goes inside, yep. Okay, so this is how this is going to mount, just like this. So we'll get these going. And get them on there. Okay, once those two are in, then we work, go back and do our top one. Again, I, when I'm doing this, the reason this is able to swivel like this is because this bottom bolt isn't locked in yet, okay? So I'm going to move the camera back to the other position one sec. And okay, so here we are. So again, I like to leave that bottom one loose so that we can be maneuverable with this. I do that anytime I'm working on independent suspension. I like to get these bolts in and started, but don't tighten them because then we, everything can move and line up and it's just easier to deal with, okay? So now we take that bolt from before and that special washer I reminded you about and we get those going. Start your bolt, slide that washer in between there and just get it down till the bolt can pick it up. And to get those, give them jimmy, jimmy, jimmy and through the hole we go. Okay, now we get the nut on. Okay, now we tighten those bottom ones again. Get that fully tight. Okay, normally I would drop a little bit of Loctite in each, on each one of those, but like I said, this is the third take and they're, they're pretty much wet already, so that's good to go. Um, now I'll explain the reason we took this off is because this bolt is here and you can't get that nut back on and off with this here. So now that that's back on, now that we can put this on. You can just get it started by hand, grab my tool. Get on. I mean the strap. Okay. And the light. Last but not least. Okay, light kit is installed. Motor bracket is installed. Now the only thing left to do, slap that tire on. Oh, one last tip before I forget. If you're having trouble getting these off because of the Loctite, remember slow, steady pressure good not i mean good sharp tools you don't want dull tools good steady pressure if that doesn't work you take a little torch like this a little butane torch and just get a little heat heat on them what that does is that breaks down the chemical compound of the um, loctite and they're much easier to come out be careful you don't burn other parts of the board if you have to put something behind it you know so you don't melt the plastic of a spring or something like that Pay attention to where that flame is going. You can do some damage, wiring harnesses, things like that. Okay, put the wheel on. Tread's going in the right direction. Valve stem is out. Wheel is on. Put the lock nut on, which is always a fun feeling because you're two minutes away from riding. Yeah, get that good and tight. Oh, another note. I apologize that I keep forgetting these things and I'm explaining as we go along, but I'm just going to move the camera by hand. Again, these bolts 
in the suspension down here, um, those get adjusted to usually with a torque, uh, a torque wrench, but I don't have mine here tonight. Those get 10 to 12 Newton torque. So if you have a torque wrench, we highly suggest using it. Um, it's just nice to get everything exact. This is my board, so I'm not worrying too much about it. I'll have my wrench here tomorrow and I can, you know, I can go check everything real quick, but just a little tip I wanted to help out with there. But that's it. That's how to install a light bracket and that's how to uh, change the motor bracket. Okay, so that wraps up how to install the wheel bracket on an Endeavor and the light kit on the Endeavor. Uh, I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any videos that need immediate attention, you can shoot me a PM or leave a message below and um, let me know that we have an urgent need for something. But as we build this library up, it's going to get better and better and hopefully soon enough everything will be there for you. So concluding this session of Propel Virtual Garage, ride hard, ride safe, and as always, ride Propel.